Hey everyone, j Lights here, and this video is kind of special because I am going to show you everything I got at Lighter Palooza 3. For those that don't know, Lighter Palooza 3 is like a Zippo convention, and I came back with 21 pounds of Zippo stuff. To be honest, I kind of forgot what was in there, so this is like opening a brand new package for myself as well. So if you want to see more Lighter Palooza 3 videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Welcome to j -Ro Lights. so we have our 21 pound package here i got a package with posters in it and it's kind of kind of ironic that the more fragile stickers you stick on these things the more banged up the box gets so the same with this one this one looks like it had something heavy on top of it so hopefully those packages are intact i understand they stack things on top of each other but at the same time i, I hope Hope everything is good inside. And I did carry a lot with me on the way back, on my carry-on bags. So that helped a lot. I mean, this package is filled to the top. So we're, we're about to find out what we got. Got my handy dandy Zippo Outdoors Multi-Tool. Here's an overview of everything I got in Bradford. So let's go through it. One of the first items that I purchased at Lighter Palooza 3 was this Lighter Palooza 3, the official Zippo. Here we go. We got Sasquatch here. This is limited to 100 pieces. Really nice looking 540. And it also came with some cool swag. Uh, since I was a vendor, I got this awesome coaster, a koozie, a pin. Always have to plug my good friends, Riley66 and Widowmakers Lighters, because they put on this show. If Without them, this would not have been possible. So they are, uh, I can't thank them enough for all that they've done for the Zippo community. I guess this trip I really focused on kind of like swag. You know, anything that said Zippo on it, I wanted. If it was for a good price, of course. And one of the first things when I got into the show after I bought that Lighter Palooza 3 Zippo is I saw a bunch of junk bins, so to speak. Or, you know, this vendor, a uh, really amazing vendor, had a bunch of cool stuff. I went digging. And I pulled, I got all these, all these pins here. I am not a pin collector when it comes to Zippo pins, but I do like throwing some stuff in with like packages and things like that. I, I kind of was just looking for extra Zippo stuff to throw in to make somebody's day uh, when they buy something from me or if I'm just feeling nice. Also, these are always good to give out. These are the Penny Never Spent Visitor Center cards that they passed out in the uh, 90s, early 2000s. So there's about 50 of those. I got these stationary postcard type things. So, I, I mean, there's a whole bag of that. This puzzle came in that junk lot. Fuel canister, this uh, visitor center kind of kids game. Shut the box game. This paperweight here. I know this paperweight itself goes for like 15, 20 bucks. These really nice Zippo coasters. 
a Zippo OtterBox. Really nice Zippo tote bag. I mean, I carry this around with everything in it. And this Zippo carry case, which is really nice. Now moving on to Zippos. I love NASCAR. I'm not big in collecting NASCAR Zippos, but I get them when I can. And I got these two. These are just beautiful pieces, especially since I'm a Dale Earnhardt Jr. and a Dale Earnhardt Sr. fan. Really nice looking sleeves. Had a friend give this to me because they know I love this design. I think this one's like number six I have. This is Kaleidoscope. Kind of my unicorn of the trip. I got this for extremely good deal. This is a slim 1976 Walt Disney uh, in box, mint in box. Got a really nice deal on that and I got that one for my wife. Here we have a nice ultralight Indianapolis Colts. One of two Mississippi Zippos I got. Here we have a Brass Biloxi. I love the guitar in there. This hard rock, beautiful Zippo, 2018. My buddy Frank gave this one to me, so I'm very thankful for him. He's a great guy. This is Frank's Rainmakers Lawn Irrigation since 1962. So thank you, Frank. That was a great, great gift. Next one. I love these late 90s, early 2000 ones. Let's see. This is a 99. Sticker's still on the back, unfortunately. This is a paper sticker. So I got to figure out what I want to do on that. But anyways, this is a very beautiful design. Golden weave. Got a really great deal on that one. I did get my kids a couple Zippos. My son, who's named after Bill Elliott's son. And then my daughter got a nice unicorn Zippo. And they know Zippos stay in the Zippo room. But when they come up here, they always like to see their Zippos. Now, I hope my dad's not watching this one because this is a gift that I'm going to send them. This one is very very special because i had a uh, friend who showed me this and he's like man look what deal i got on this and i was like man let me know if you see another one because my dad is a graduate an alumni of uofl and he would love a zippo like that and you know let me know a price or whatever well at the end of the show he came up to me shook my hand and inside his hand was this zippo and he said hey man if uh there's anyone that deserves it it's your dad this design was a limited or exclusively for the zippo case museum around easter next two came in a trade i had a collector who was using a j -Row light zippo at the show and it made me so happy i was so thrilled and he wanted to purchase another j -Row light zippo for his collection but uh, he said, hey, would you take any trades? And I said, yeah, sure, what you got? And he traded these two Marlboro Zippos for a j -Row Light Zippo. So a uh, very good trade on my end. Next Zippo, I did a video about my everyday carry and how I collect as many as I can. I think this one's number 10 or 11. Had a collector come up and he made me j -Row Light's mug and j -Row Lights coasters. How cool is that? He made these for me and inside the mug, he said, hey, I remember seeing this in my collection and saw that you collected these uh, as many as you could. So here you go. So that's that was extremely special. Had a, a friend a few months ago pick this up for me. I forgot all about it, but I, I finally paid him for it. <laughs> I forgot all about this Zippo. Kind of goes in with my large flame thing. Uh, he also gave me a memorial in memory of Zippo. So this is a very special Zippo that he gave me. Another special Zippo to me is a j -Row Light Zippo that I took from my stash and had George Duke and Grant Duke sign. 
This is the second Mississippi Zippo I got in Meridian, the heart of the New South. Uh, it is an emblem, uh, but I, the period's right, so I have no problem collecting. This was only like 10 bucks anyway. The next Zippo is another very special Zippo. This is the Blaisdell Foundation Zippo this year. Uh, I have a video coming out with Ron Orris, who is the director of the Blaisdell Foundation, and he gave me this Zippo. And it has George Duke's signature. I had him sign that as well as sign the back of the Zippo and it's 75 out of 150. Now, one of the last Zippos I got is kind of, it's kind of a unicorn Zippo. And it is the 2000 collectible of the year, keeper of the flame. But there's something different about this one. And there was a vendor, very, very sweet lady, uh, really enjoyed having conversation with her. But I was looking through all their stuff and this caught my eye because I'm always, I love collectibles of the year. And this Zippo goes for quite a bit money and she had it for a very reasonable price and I asked her about it, but I noticed something different. This is the collectible of the year that came out and it is a brushed finish, F2000. Well, this one here is high polished. So I am convinced that, and I've, I've kind of got a confirmation on this as well, that this is a prototype of the Keeper of the Flame. There are theories that this could be a kind of a, someone just put the emblem on it, but I, I don't believe they did because the date on this is C2000. The emblems are, for the most part, pretty lined up together. The one that came out that was uh, released was F2000. I'm convinced that this is a prototype of the Keeper of the Flame. Uh, so that is a really cool Zippo that I got. I, I think other than that Disney Zippo, this is probably one of the more rare Zippos that I picked up. And also the booth next to her, they were just selling these Keeper of the Flame tins for two bucks. So I said, hey, why not? Keeper of the Flame box with the Keeper of the Flame prototype. I don't think it could have gone any better. A couple more things. I just got an empty tin. This is for my Zippo car that I have that I go for the, with that box. Did get a George Duke Mark Pout and Grant Duke made in Bradford card signed. couple more freebies I got. I got this Zippo pin, my first Zippo pin. Got this cool German display advertising some German event. I, I forget. They told me the story of that, but I forgot. But this was a collector who lived in Germany for some time. Had a friend gave me this pop-up, P-O-P for the 1998 collectible of the year and he, he had it on his table i was like hey how much for that and he said take it i love zippo literature so i picked these up uh these go with the zippos i have had a friend give me this hand warmer sign that's pretty cool i do have a hand warmer display so that goes great with that and some zippo swag that i got at the made in bradford event i won one of their games and uh so I got a bag and a bunch of just random swag. So, and then over here in this corner, I got the Zippos I brought up with me. I got a air carrier uh, case and I got all my Zippos, j Light Zippos. If you haven't already, go ahead. You can purchase one of these j Light Zippos for $35 shipped anywhere in the U.S. Go ahead and send me an email at jrolites at gmail.com. That is what I got at Lighter Palooza 3 this year. Wasn't as much Zippos as last year. I got I brought like 80 Zippos back last year. 
But this year I kind of went in a little bit more conservative and also I knew I would be filming a lot more. So I really didn't focus on purchasing as much as just trying to get some great content for you. So if you want to see that content, don't forget to subscribe. This is Jay Relights. We'll see you on the next one.